Welcome back to Buckeye Country Creations. My name is Sonia, and I'm so glad you're here. I love my family. I love to cook. I love to clean. I love to thrift and visit flea markets. I love to travel this beautiful country of ours, and I love sharing all of this with you, my YouTube family. So if this sounds like something you want to do, then come on along with me and join my journey. In today's video, you're going to come with me as I tidy up my home and reset my home for the upcoming week. And also, during today's video, I'm going to share with you my tips for falling in love with being a homemaker and the process of homemaking. Sometimes it may be difficult to enjoy all the things of the home, cleaning, cooking, doing laundry, picking up after our family, and it's easy to get lost in the mundane aspects of homemaking tasks that must be accomplished to make our homes run smoothly. Well, I'm going to share with you some tips on how you can find joy in the task of homemaking and how to fall in love with homemaking. We are the keepers of our homes and sometimes it can be overwhelming and yes, even frustrating because this is something that has to be done week after week, day after day. But we're going to start by finding and creating beauty all around our homes. We're going to make our homes a beautiful place and that will lend us to find beauty in other places outside the home. We need to cultivate our talents to see beauty in everything. And yes, everyone has this innate talent, even you and even me. It just needs to be nurtured. This will make it easy for us to find joy in our responsibility as the keeper of our home and taking care of our family and making sure our home is a peaceful environment and a cozy environment for our families. Just as I am struggling to get this fitted sheet off of this bed, Sometimes the task of homemaking can be just as difficult and sometimes even frustrating. But we keep on doing what we have to do and we support each other and we give each other tips and tricks to make it maybe just a little bit easier. And sometimes we get so busy and so preoccupied that we forget to do things, such as I forgot to remove these fall slash Christmas pillow covers that I've had on my bed since fall. I have ordered me some spring ones from Amazon, but I just now got around to actually taking the slip covers off. My next tip that I want to share with you for falling in love with homemaking is to delight in serving your family. This can give you so much joy and so much happiness. And sometimes, yes, it can be hard to do this, but if we take time and observe how our families enjoy the cozy areas in our home, the delicious meals that we prepare, and all the other tasks that we perform, the joy will come. Yes, you can find joy in a task such as doing laundry every day. The next tip I want to share with you is to take credit for your daily accomplishments. Sometimes we cannot get everything accomplished in one day, but we are human. 
Allowing ourselves to take credit for the task that we did complete is so very important and helps us, us to avoid feeling overwhelmed. For example, during the work week, I try to put my kitchen to bed every night by making sure there are no dirty dishes in the sink and the kitchen is clean. This doesn't always happen. Small tasks, such as a daily load of laundry, completed and hung up or folded. They may not necessarily get put away that day, but that is perfectly acceptable. My next tip for falling in love with homemaking is to find little things like this blanket that make you smile every day. This was a gift that I received at Christmas from my grandkids and my great grandkids and I absolutely love it. And yes, I'm going to place it on the back of my couch. I know a lot of people don't do that anymore, but this has become my favorite blanket that I love to snuggle with and cuddle up with. So it has a place of honor on the back of my couch. And so I'm going to continue to go around and pick up things and get my home set and nice and neat and organized, which helps to relieve my anxiety. When you work outside the home, you face so many levels and different areas of stress, knowing that your home is in its place and everything is in order can help that stress not be quite so bad because when we come home from work in the evening, we're walking into a calm environment. It's not chaotic and it's not chaos. Now, when my children were younger and still at home, it was like a constant source of chaos, but let's face it, we all live in our homes, we do daily things in our home, and so there's no way that your home can stay 100% neat and tidy 100% of the time, so don't stress yourself out over that. My next tip that I want to share with you for falling in love with being a homemaker is to take a little extra time each day to slow down and look at the blessings that you have in your life. We are so very blessed that we live in the country that we live in. Be proud to be a homemaker. I work outside the home, but I love making my home a cozy and relaxing place for my family. I love family gatherings, holidays, birthdays, anniversaries. I love when we all get together and everyone comes to our house. I remember hearing my granddaughter telling our daughter, Grandma and Grandpa's home is always so cozy and comfortable. I'm always relaxed and I'm always ready to take a nap. You see, I love our kids and our grandkids, and I love to see them snuggle together on the couch under the cozy warm blankets after a family dinner or a birthday party or something. This brings me so very much joy, and it can bring you the same amount of joy. The next tip I want to share with you is to decorate your home with items that bring you joy and happiness. Don't fall into the abyss of trying to stay on trend, trying to stay with whatever's popular or whatever who says is in and this one says it's out. It doesn't matter if your style of decorating is trending or not. For example, 
my decor style is a meshing of country farmhouse and rustic charm. I love thrifting and finding different items to decorate my home. I love visiting flea markets, as you know if you've seen any of my videos. And I'm the one who sees the inside of my home every day. So the things that are displayed and used inside my home should bring me joy and happiness and not a decorator or a fashionista or whatever they think they are. It should bring me joy. I love coming home at the end of my work day and seeing my cozy home decorated with items that I have thrifted, made, inherited, or been given as gifts from my, from my friends and family. The next tip that I want to share with you is to create a cozy, relaxing, and positive environment in your home. At the end of your day, when you have completed all your tasks, you have reset your home, and everything is in its place, create that environment using things that are special to you. For me, that could be music and lighting, such as candles. Turn off the distractions. Turn off the cell phones, turn off the video games or whatever it is, turn on some relaxing music, light some candles, and enjoy the ambience that can be created. Sit on the couch with a blanket and a warm drink or even a cool drink and just be present in the moment. Look around at your home that you have so lovingly created for your family and take credit for everything that you have done and all the effort that you have put in. And just take time and be mindful and be grateful for all that you have. The next tip that I want to share with you is to try to refrain from comparing your home to other homes. This is so difficult for us as humans, even more so now because of social media. While it is good to gather ideas from others, you shouldn't feel like you need to constantly purchase new decor items to make your home beautiful and cozy for every single season. Shop other rooms in your home and move those items around. Rearrange the placement of your furniture. This can create a brand new look without even spending one penny. We should not feel pressured by designers or people who say, oh, farmhouse is out, modern farmhouse is in, the chic boho look is in, farmhouse is out. Do what makes you happy. Use the things that you have in your home. Take something from the master bedroom and put it in the living room. Take something from the living room and put it in the office. And this is a way to save money but also achieve a new look.
You might think, how do I find joy in taking out the garbage? But you can. Be thankful that you had the things that created the garbage in your home. Be thankful that you have the ability to walk up and down the steps or wherever it may be and that you're mobile and that you have your health. So find the joy in the simple things and yes, you can find joy in taking out the garbage. I want to share with you now something that I remember my mother used to read to me. It's called the Homemaker's Prayer. Lord, we thank thee for this sink of dirty dishes. We have good food to eat. Thank you for this pile of dirty laundry, for we have nice clothes to wear. Thank you for these unmade beds. They were comfortable last night. Thanks for this bathroom, complete with soggy towels, splattered mirror, and grimy sink. Thank you for this finger-smudged refrigerator that needs defrosting and cleaning out so badly. Thank you for this oven that absolutely must be cleaned. It has baked many good meals over the years. Our whole family is grateful for that tall grass that needs to be mowed. Thanks for the slamming screen door. The children are healthy and able to run and play. Lord, the presence of all these chores awaiting me says that you have richly blessed this family. I shall do them all gratefully and cheerfully. Author Unknown And once again, I'm straightening up this area because this is our quote unquote drop zone for everything that comes in at the end of the day and the end of the week. And everything may not have a specific place because there are things that we need access to on a daily basis, such as my husband's medications that he takes on a daily basis and things that he uses. So I try to keep them organized and in the same place for him and the little basket there on the end is all of the things that he uses on a pretty much a daily basis so while it's not spotless and you can't see them it's still organized
the next thing that I want to share with you is to make sure that you take time to find something that relaxes you and that brings you enjoyment as an individual. For me, that's baking. In the fall, winter, and early spring, you will find me at one of my happiest places in my kitchen, baking bread, baking cakes, cooking for my family, making cookies or brownies. One of my favorite things to make is homemade bread. It brings me so much joy and taking the time and doing the process of making bread to me is so relaxing. Some people say, well, how can that be relaxing because you're still working? Yes, I'm working, but I am creating something that I know exactly what goes in it. I know that it's good for my family. There's no preservatives in it. There's no chemicals in it other than just what's naturally in the flour and the salt and the butter. I know that it's made from my loving hands for my loving family. Again, baking and cooking for my family and caring for the home is my love language. Being in the kitchen, kneading bread, holding it in my hands and just filling that dough is so incredibly relaxing to me and it helps me rest and recharge for the next week. And I don't film every time that I make bread because when you're doing a task and you're filming it for YouTube, it takes twice as long to make sure that you get the shots that you need. So sometimes it's just good to get in the kitchen, get my hands in the dough and just not worry about filming and just relax and enjoy the process of working with the dough and not have to worry about, oh, did I get the right shot? Am I at a good angle is the lighting okay so if you're a fellow youtuber make sure that you're taking time off to enjoy the things that you like to do without filming it because that can get monotonous at a time too and that can become mundane and make it no longer enjoyable for you to do videos for your youtube channel this is my hobby so i always want it to be where i enjoy filming and sharing things with you guys and inviting you into my home and that it does not become a quote unquote job. Your thing that brings you happiness may not be baking. It may be playing music. It may be painting or drawing. It may be getting outside and going for a run or a walk. But just find that few moments in a day or every other day to take time for yourself so that you can rejuvenate and recharge and refresh and be ready to be of service to your family. And at this moment, I would like to take a few minutes to thank all of my viewers and my subscribers. If this is your first time ever visiting my channel, I greatly appreciate you stopping by and I hope that you will come back for the newer videos. And without you guys, I would not have a YouTube channel. I would not be able to share my home and my activities and my tricks and tips with you. So thank you so much for stopping by 
and remember to go out and find the joy in the smallest details such as the buds that are now coming out on the trees around our home getting ready for spring finding joy in that ride to and from work of a morning and in the afternoon and just enjoying that ride in the countryside and seeing the green sprouting up from the land and remember what I always say make sure you take time to go out and make those memories with the ones you love God bless you